So I want to share with you uh, the importance of knowing all this and hopefully um, justify and endorse the claims made by Ms. Henning and the doctors in the video that you saw that Machiavelli is indeed special and why you should consider it as part of your health protocol. I would like to talk to you about the signs of aging and cancer because probably these are the two most important areas that confront us as we grow older. And every one of us has to go through this process. Whether you like it or not, you have to go through this process. Only thing is some of us takes only a short time to reach the end. All right, some of us age very fast. Some of us age very slowly. Last night, my school batch, my schoolmates, we had our 55th year birthday celebration. You know your classmates all together. So some of my classmates look like my uncle. <laughs> yes, literally. <laughs> that, means, that means some of us have aged so fast. But aging is not just about having sagging skin and sagging everything. With it comes also a whole host of diseases. These are called degenerative diseases because it tells you that your, your organs have degenerated because your cells have degenerated. And aging, if you can consider aging as a slow process that occurs because of uh, the accumulation of damage over time, then you can think of cancer as a sudden gross damage. All right? Aging is slow damage, especially to the DNA, right? That's the components of your genes. Whereas cancer is mutation of the DNA. And sometimes, sometimes the difference between the two is quite blurred. Okay. You know, cancers usually present as tumors, meaning growths. But not all tumors are cancerous. So the tumors that are not cancerous give us some clue of this gray zone. Closer to, to us, without even having tumors, you just look at your skin. If you are you have been aging just like the rest of the rest of us, you will have spots that were not there before. You have age spots, you have pigmented areas that were not there before. Sometimes patches on your face even. Right. Okay. And on the other hand, in the world of cancer, the number one cancer is also skin cancer. You don't hear much about skin cancer here because we are not so much exposed to ravages of the sun, but it is the number one problem in places like Australia. So skin cancer is the number one cancer, but we don't talk so much about it is is because it is not the number one killer. Right, the number one killer cancer is lung cancer. But skin cancer is the number one cancer. It's not surprising because the skin is exposed to the sun and the sun is the number one cause of both aging and cancer. And the reason is the same, because the sun's UV rays. Right? Ultraviolet rays damages the molecules in our skin and then um, generate free radicals and then cause the aging and the cancer. All right? If you understand what I said just now, cancer can also be viewed as a form of aging. All right? Fast, instant aging. Because suddenly the, the, the DNA is so much damaged it mutates. Of course, there are certain forms of cancers that are induced by infections. For example, now we know that stomach cancer is caused by bacteria. Liver cancer, the number one cause of liver cancer is virus. All right, cervical cancer, number one cause is virus. But how the virus causes cancer is also by going in and interfering with the DNA of the cells. Yeah. Okay, you know him? I'm sure many of you know him. <laughs> right. Where is he actually now? Bottom line? 
Number one or number two? Or number three? Maybe around between between two and three, right? Number two. Okay. But you can you can you can see how he will age. With modern technology, computer technology, you take your photo, give your age, and then and you can see how you look in future. <laughs> but utilizing the science that we know about health, nutrition, and exercise, you can delay this process. And if you have aged faster than you should all this one, you can even reverse this process, and it is possible. I've been told by people that Dr. Ame, you talk about anti-aging. If you tell me that you can slow down aging, I believe you. But if you say you can reverse aging, I think you are overselling uh, like the MLM people. <laughs> I want to convince you that that is not so. It is possible to reverse aging. Now, take the hair. The hair is the least important part of your body. You could shave your head bald so you can still have a healthy life and live long. Right now. All right? But because the hair is external and the hair grows so fast, it's a good example of how we can learn about aging. If your hair is turning white, gradually turning white, and you do something, not going and die and cheat and turn it black, but do something healthy, even like just keeping your scalp healthy. What more if you take some or you apply some scalp nutrition? Okay, scalp nutrients, some, something that you apply. What more you take some supplements aimed at the hair? Then your hair can uh, become white in, at a lower pace. Is it possible? All right, so you have slowed down the aging of the hair. In fact, that is not a surprise at all because you can even make the hair black again. Many hair salons are doing that <laughs> by just cleaning your scalp, providing you with some massage cream and then giving you supplements then your hair turns black without dyeing your hair. Okay, I'm sure you know about this. So in that situation, then you have reversed the aging of the hair. Understand? All right. But we're not concerned about the color of the hair. What I'm telling you is that is the hair cells, right, that produce the hair, have become younger. That's why the hair that's coming up is now black when it used to be white. So you can reverse the aging of the hair cells. If you can reverse the aging of the hair cells, why can't you reverse the aging of all the other cells? Tell me. Right? You can reverse the aging of your brain, your heart, every cell in the body. Right? Just learning the lesson from the aging reversing the aging of your hair. 